Sandy's calling us from Columbia, which is famously hot. Sandy, I hope it wasn't too hot up there today. Did you get some rain? Yes, we did. We did get some rain. It's been damp, um, but it's beautiful and sunny right now. Oh, good. Well, what can we do for you tonight? Well, um, I had purchased, my husband and I had purchased some peach trees from Home Depot. It's been about maybe three years now. And every uh, spring we get a few flowers, which we're hopeful will turn into some peaches. And we make it like maybe nine a piece that mm -hmm. grow to be the size of a pecan, and that's it. That's not much of a peach, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are in great luck tonight because Greg happens to um, be, um, have gotten all kinds of awards from the, peach, the National Peach Council. So, Greg, uh, let's talk a little bit about home peach growing. And when you and, and I'll let you address the questions, and then maybe you'll even bring out this um, show and tell and talk yeah. about thinning. Yes, yeah, so it sounds like she doesn't need to thin. But um, when you get when your fruit only get to size that you mentioned, there's it, one of two reasons. One, either the fruit were damaged from cold and the embryos were damaged and the fruit didn't size, or two, you have the rootstock. Uh, peach tree has a top and a bottom, and the roots are usually the fruit are very small, no bigger than a golf ball, and sometimes. Uh, not to pick on the garden centers, they buy what's left over it from the production nurseries, and they sometimes they may not may not be the best peach tree to grow in South Carolina. Yes. If you wanted to grow a peach tree in South Carolina, how would you find a nursery that might specialize in peaches for our region? Well, Tennessee is the place where they grow lots of fruit trees because they also, that's where they'll grow a lot of your ornamental trees also. Um, most of them, at least three or four of them, will sell you peach trees, but they want a minimum order, which would be more than one or two peach trees. Mm -hmm. So that, of course, you go back to the garden center or go to a Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. And um, really, the trees that they sell in Lowe's and Home Depot are quite large for the size of the root system, and peaches will grow very quickly in our climate. So you really you start with a tree that's too top-heavy for the root system you have, plus the root system's usually in a pot and it's usually bound. So there's a, sometimes just getting uh, from these nurseries a smaller tree that's a lot cheaper and actually will grow out better. In okay, also so a smaller tree might be better, just one that came in the mail. Yeah, okay. as long as, well, when I say small, maybe a, a yard yeah, or three, three feet yeah, or something. Yeah, but not a great big. Now, let's talk about thinning because um, okay. peaches tend to have lots and lots of peaches on them if they don't get damaged by the cold. Exactly. This year we've been very fortunate, no cold damage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully I'm knocking on long term for um, this is from one of my trees this morning, and you can see all the peaches that have set on there. A lot. Oh, yeah. So this is what a peach tree should look like when, uh, when, it's, when you don't have any freeze damage. You have, and um, you should get a lot of these fruit even the second year out in the field. Uh -huh. First, uh, so this, is a, this was a third-year tree here. So uh, the problem is everyone that when you get this many fruits, you want to leave a lot on there, but you should only leave a peach about every six to eight inches. Okay. So if you look at this shoot here, maximum two fruit so oh. you want to leave one near where you got leaves so the biggest one so either one of these would be fine okay just take it off take it off and take then, those little squishy ones and, off and then yeah, these little ones are either late bloomers or they have a damaged embryo so okay. they're not going to be big all right and you see there's some small ones yeah, here tiny one there um you don't want ones right here at the crotch because when they expand they'll get squeezed oh. so you, i mean <laughs> you can leave them but you take them so uh, this should, should have another vegetative shoot coming out but it doesn't but I would I would have left those two on well that shoot there. so you it's not that you just take every other one you you really take a lot of you them take out. a lot yeah. off so and it, so it's a little bit bigger than your fist yeah but the idea is the whole length of the shoot so okay. all this shoots going to feed that uh, a better example would have been this one because we have vegetative breaks mm -hmm. so I would uh, uh, once again thinning is, is, is the most expensive <laughs> for peach production the most expensive thing for growers um, you get sometimes these doubles, mm -hmm. and you take those off. You never keep those. Okay. And uh, these little ones here. So something like Once that. Once again, um, yeah. This one it depends on how much leaf area you have on the tree, but you can leave three, but probably in this case I would just leave two again. So air on the side of taking an yeah. extra one off. If you want large fruit. If yeah. you want golf ball-sized fruit, then you leave leave those. I know what size. I want, and I know what I would do. Yeah, Thank so. you for that very informative so we got lots of peaches here for you now, okay, Amanda. Right. <laughs> Actually, you can pickle these, so if you, which some people do. So.